You are now live. Hello, lovely people. Uh, Mr. Oliver here. Um, we're going to do some cooking. Um, I don't really do Instagram lives very much, but I'm here in my test kitchen. Um, hi, Nick. Um, so this is where we do all the testing. Um, all of my recipes that I write um, get tested four times here in the office. Then we send it out to um, complete strangers. Uh, I'm going to show you a recipe from my new book, um, this is quick and easy five ingredient food. Um, it's been the most nutty book I've ever written. Um, people love it, so I'm really, really pleased and grateful. So thank you if you bought the book. Um, I'm going to give you a recipe uh, using five ingredients. This is cod, cod fillet. It, by the way, this recipe takes about five minutes to cook. It's blooming delicious. Um, it's with cod, smoky, oh no, finger over there, smoky pancetta, uh, which goes crispy. Um, this is spinach. Uh, sorry, this is a pouch, <laughs> I'm all backwards. This is a pouch of lentils. And then over here, we've got some rosemary. It's a wicked combo. Uh, I'll show you the recipe in the book. Oh, oh my crew are here, by the way. Say hi, guys. Uh, um, that was very, very, um, so, oh, hi, Jules. Oh, Jules is watching. Bless you, Jules, love you. Um, so, um, uh, the crew here, I'm kind of hacking with you guys, I'm hacking we are doing uh, a YouTube video, right? Yeah. Um, we're doing a YouTube video and we'll kind of make it nice. We'll get all the real macro shots and, um, and I quite like um, these beautiful, look, I mean, look at that for a cameraman. Look, that's, got, that's what we have at Jamie Oliver HQ. Oh yes, and look, the director, he ain't bad too. Go on, flex, flex, yes. Um, word up, girls. Um, anyway, no, um, so he's got a macro lens and when we do, obviously I'm doing it on, on Instagram stories now, which is fine. Let me show you the process of making a cooking uh, recipe. Uh, this is the recipe. So from the back, if it's the wrong way around, I think the reverse camera does everything reverse. So sorry about that. So smoky pancetta, cod, rosemary. Uh, these are the pouches of legumes that I do. This is lentils, but you can get chickpeas and beans and all those things. And the cool thing about these pouches, it is a hack and a cheat. But normally you have to soak these things overnight and they take 40 minutes to cook, but these are quick. And spinach, okay? So that's the dish. Homina, homina, homina. Uh, that is the ingredients. This is the crew here. Um, so I'm gonna show you what we do. Um, the when we're filming um, the recipes, um, we are trying to use the different lenses to tell a story. Um, so I'm gonna pass on to Richard Hurd, who's worked with me for a very long time, since The Naked Chef. What's your job title officially? Uh, head of digital video. Nice. And how do you think you've done this year? Have you over delivered? <laughs> well. I just have a bonus. We're coming up to Christmas, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's Joe Dean and, and the girls in the background. Say hi. Okay, over to you, Richard. But you. I've got I've got to work now. You can ask questions if you want. Yeah, yeah. We're doing now a close up pass. Uh, normally I do filming in like one pass and we have five cameras, but our budgets for uh, YouTube are not quite as robust. So we do two passes. So that's the chat pass, which I've done. So now I can talk to you. And now we're doing the close-up pass, which is where we use this lens. This is kind of the blue planet lens. This is a macro lens. Is that 100 milli millimeters? Yeah. yeah. Nice. So let's do it. Um, so um, uh, let's do okay. it. Starting off, a couple of grabs for products. Yep. So in time, let's finish these guys. What are we grabbing? Spinach, please. Yeah. What spinach, are we grabbing? Spinach. Um, so they're getting close up to spinach to show you what spinach looks like. It will look great. Um, this recipe takes less than five minutes to do. So it's a brilliant, it's a healthy recipe. It's just under, 500, uh, just under 350 calories. Two of your veg. Um, and it doesn't feel like a healthy meal. It's comforting. It's got smoky bacon, um, which let me show you. Should I just go yeah. for it, brother? Well, let's just do a couple more grabs. So just, if you could just pick up the uh, yeah. When you go to your fishmonger, if you get him to cut the cod fillets at an angle, they'll cook in half the time. So if you cut down, it might take six minutes to cook. If you cut at an angle, it will take about four minutes to cook. So that's what the angle. We, we call that um, cutting on the bias. Excellent. And then just one pick up of Manchester. One sec. So what the guys are getting now, the guys are getting macro shots. So you might, when we're doing like a recipe, you might just see it cut to a real close up shot. And the point of that macro shot is to kind of explain what it is that I'm holding and explain the food through pictures. Obviously in the book, 
you know, we kind of give, in the book, we give you the clarity through these little shots here. And then in the, in the TV, we um, give you the clarity through a macro shot. And then that, that's just a, a long lens from our Australian cameraman there. Do you want to say hi to back home? G'day, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we love a cliche at Jamie Oliver HQ. <laughs> um, okay. Is Jules still watching? Jules, yeah. are you still watching? Yes, she, she gave you love a minute ago. Oh, nice. Do you want this for dinner tonight? But, oh, no, I gave, it to, I gave it to her the other night. Oh, uh, I gave her <laughs> the, the, cod the cod the other yeah. night. <laughs> Chop to that. Okay, thank yeah. you. Actually, it was this way first. Ready? Yeah. Nice. Right, should we crack on then with the... Uh, yeah, can I just grab one? Yeah. So well, the great thing about pancetta is you get smoked. Don't buy the normal pancetta. Get the smoked stuff. Unbelievable. But by weight, you know, it's not that much. So you're keeping the sap fats down, but what you're getting is a massive bang for your buck. Uh, and here's the genius bit. Are you ready, boys? Yep. So what I'm going to do, it's a very simple um, technique, but you take your four slices of pancetta, um, and if you look at the pancetta, you've got a lovely... Yeah, backlight it. You've got lovely fat and the meat, and it's cured, so you get seasoning, you get smoke, and most importantly, because people do get scared to cook fish, um, it protects the fish. So it's just a kind of beautiful marriage. You get crispy, smoky bacon, and then you get protected, flaky, juicy cod. Um, and then just come round here. And then all I do is the eat it. Look, there's nothing chefy about this. It feels chefy, but it's rubbish, right? You just wrap it under like that, and that's a little bundle of joy. Um, obviously, it's going to take me 10 minutes now because we're mucking around with lenses. Um, you can make this in under five minutes at home, right? So you'll see that when we start to cook. You could mix up your fish. You could do this easily with salmon. So most of our lovely country um, still don't get their two uh, fish a week. So those omega threes are really important. It's a nice, lean, healthy protein. Uh, rosemary, it's a really amazing herb. When we were trained to be chefs back in the day, a long time ago, um, they always said woody herbs didn't work with fish. Complete rubbish, right? Rosemary, it's got that incredible savouriness and deliciousness. I'm just going to press it onto the fish just like that. So then imagine being that fish, right? You're, you're making the pancetta, the fat's coming out, it's frying with the rosemary, it's kissing the fish, it's protecting the fish, and it's going crispy, so you've got the contrast of soft and crispy. Any questions coming through? <coughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go through. Max thinking. Kinder just sent an aubergine. Max Kinder, mm -hmm. nice lad. <laughs> the girls love Max Kinder. Uh, Natalie loves your pantry shells behind you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Which, which one yeah. are you doing for this one? I don't know, this one? Yeah, totally. Okay, so it's quite hard for the cameraman now because what they're seeing is a very small thing, so they don't see everything. It's a real tight shot. So I have to kind of give them a little line up so they get their focus. And then we do that. There. Uh, Gabby recalled has asked what kind of fish. So this is cod, um, Gabby, Scottish MSC sustainable cod um, from a nice big fish like that. Uh, you could of course use pollock, uh, haddock, uh, megram, uh, lemon sole, dover sole, uh, whatever you want to get your hands on. But actually you could use any fish. And actually you could use a little thin slice of chicken fillet if you wanted to. Ready, boys? Uh, Manny FY, what book is this from? Uh, this Mr. is Stark. from Quick and Easy. Uh, if you bought this, thank you so much. This is the fastest selling cookbook I've ever done, which I'm really um, grateful for. Um, and uh, luckily, it's really resonated with you lot, and people seem to be using it a lot. So I think the average amount of recipes used in every cookbook is about four, but the feedback I'm getting is like more like 15, 20. So I'm really grateful that you like it. Cool. When, when you write a book, you never know if people are going to love it. Happy? Yeah. Okay, so pan, medium heat, 
a tiny bit of oil. Uh, then we're going to go straight in with the rosemary and the pancetta and the cod. So that's three ingredients, best friends. So smoky pancetta, savoury rosemary and delicious fish. And if you imagine that now cooking, two minutes on each side, done. Done. So these boys are going to be scrambling around getting these shots. And when Woody Herb likes uh, rosemary and sage fry in a little fat, magical things happen, flavour-wise. And it also means you can eat the lips. So if you try and eat a raw leaf, it'll taste horrible. Sage or rosemary, ugh. Fry it in some fat. Crunch, they're like the most amazing little Pringles. Delicious. So the boys are mo they're mopping up these shots. Give them a little, move the camera, Richard. What's, 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 what's the matter? I'm trying to read as well. Well, you're not saying anything. <laughs> Come on, Rich. You can do this. Loads of people are giving your book love. John Rose, your best book yet. Great yeah, for all levels of skill. Uh, good day from Australia. For, Love you, Australia, for... and congratulations on uh, gay marriage. Well done. Oh yeah. Welcome to the uh, <laughs> 21st to the, century, um, the modern world. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, right, let's prep some spinach, guys, and then we'll come yeah. back to that. Is that okay? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Matt Nature Picks uh, says, "Well done for using uh, uh, a lovely fish like cod." Uh, I have to ask, do you like haggis? I Scotland. love haggis, and actually, I'm going to do a Burns night this year. So keep an eye out on my Instagram because I'm probably going to do a Burns night at Barbacoa with loads of whiskey and we're going to make a right night of it and I'll wear a kilt and let's get amongst it. Um, love haggis. Um, people are a bit freaked out by it, but good haggis is just a thing of joy. I learned to make my haggis um, at the Ubiquitous Chip uh, in Scotland, which is a very famous restaurant and it's it amazing. So I'm just picking through this spinach now. Um, when I pick through spinach like this, I quite like to grade the bigger leaves uh, here. And if there's any cute looking leaves, I might almost grade them to the side. Um, but kind of, well, I'll show you later, almost like a garnish. But garnish sounds pretentious and it's not like that. But I'll, I'll show you in a second. Uh, Greg of IW, do you have a Christmas book coming out? Uh, no, I haven't got a Christmas book coming out, but I did one last year which is a classic, and every year we're relaunching it with a new cover, and um, it's, it's you know, I'm going to be honest, it's a good one, but um, you can pick it up, have a look. Um, you only get to write a Christmas book once in your life, so it has to be a good one, um, and I'm really proud of it. Have a look, go and have a little look. Go to Waterstones or WH Smiths and have a little look. And, um, Lovely. Uh, yeah. One minute, hold it there, hold that thought there. So look, you can see here I've got a little pile of smaller leaves, which are beautiful, and I've got these bigger leaves here. Let's get in here, boys, for the flip. So just look, bear with me a minute, because I've just got to concentrate. Which one first? So if you've just started watching, um, we're just doing a close, I'm filming for YouTube. Oh, Hang on. Right. Um, I'm filming for YouTube. So we're doing on. a close-up pass. Normally when I do my cooking shows, I'll have five cameras, so I just do it once. But on YouTube we don't quite have the budgets, so we do two passes, and I'm about to turn the fish, which is quite an exciting moment. Which one, James? This one first, okay. Tiger. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. So, if you, um... Richard, just come and have a little look. We're we'll get a uh, close-up on the oil for you. Yeah. yeah, you don't need it at the moment. Um, it's just, just... So guys, just... Can you see there? We've, so we've got caramelisation here. The rosemary's cooking into it. It's protecting the fish. Um, and you can see it's sort of... You know, it's just doing a nice job. What we do now is quite interesting. So if you look in the pan, there's just little bits of cooking fat. If you... Richard, it's a sort of strange shot, right? But, See all the sticky bits here? Then we're gonna go in with this spinach and you don't need to add any more fat at all. We're just gonna very quickly in 40 seconds wilt that down so you can just move this around. And if you want to, you can just add a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. Uh, 
<coughs> one question here, Rishko, uh, Hangry, can you recommend spices to mix and blend up to use on fish rub? Yeah, I mean, things like fennel are really good, white pepper's amazing, salt, so in a way you can use, you can make a low salt by making a salt seasoning, right? Does that make sense? So grind up fennel seeds, either in a pestle and mortar, or hijack your mum's coffee grinder, but make sure you wash it out. Um, a tiny bit of coriander seeds has got a really nice savoury vibe going on. Um, you can take dried herbs, like maybe a little thyme. Um, they're my favourites. Cool. But look, come back. But look, we just wilted this spinach. It's like 40 seconds, okay? So now what I'm going to do is transport... This is cooked, so this only takes like... Four and a half minutes to cook. So I'm going to place it here. Spinach goes in here. Use the spinach to clean up all the sticky bits. So clean and fresh, wilted spinach. We've got that lovely cooked fish. And then look, we're doing a hack. Um, this, if you go in like Wedge or Ricardo, I don't know, like Tesco or whatever. I do some of these. Ha I do some of these pouches. So dal, chickpeas, um, bolotti beans, cannellini beans. But essentially, things that normally need soaking overnight and then 40 minutes cooking. Um, I do them. Other people do them. They're really great. They're a great little cheat. In a way, I mean, and one of the things that we're all missing is fibre. So um, these are a fantastic way to cheat, but still cook. So I just empty these out, and in 40 seconds they're ready to go. You can even eat them cold, because they're all cooked. <coughs> um, all I tend to do... Go on, mate. Annie says, what is your favourite five-ingredient dish, if you I have one? I can't really say. I can't really say, mate. It's like saying, which one of my children do I prefer? But it's not just savoury in that book, is it? There's some lovely little sweet stuff as well. For yeah. I would show you, but I'm... No, 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 I'm don't worry. No, you carry on. So look, can you see that's just 30 seconds to heat up? And then you've got a lovely lentil dish. And you've got some nice sofrito in there and, and beautiful things. I'm going to plate up now. So boys, here we are. Dual back. Alright. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. You're up. Which one? Uh, can you go this one, yeah? So we're going to plate up now. The boys are getting ready on their shots. Um, they're not watching now. No, they need to. Ready? Yep. Cool. So I take the lentils over here. Just give it a little bit more. So Jess, you stay on the plate, yeah? Yeah. Happy boys? Yeah. So th this, this type of filming now is a little bit more like, it's not like when we normally do a take, which is just like real time. In a way, this is kind of like the more scientific shots. Do you want to get some of that bubbling? Just get like, maybe an overhead, or just like really bubbling away. Um, so this is where you can have a fun with things like slow motion, go 100 frames a second, although this camera only does 50, so, you know, different budget. Um, but we can still make it look really beautiful. Caroline Murdoch, is there a lentil alternative? Is there a... Lentil alternative? This is lentil. No, is there an alternative to lentil? Than not, she's maybe oh, not yeah, a fan yeah, of lentils. Look at those pouches. They'll yeah. have quinoas, they'll have bulgur wheats, they'll have pearl barley, cannellini beans, malotti beans. I mean, there's a whole range of stuff nice. that I do. But other people do a whole load of stuff as well. Ready? Big bollocks, are you going to move? Do you want me no, to... I'm good, I'm good. We're going oh, here, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. He just wants a focus point. Nice. Do I do? Happy boys? Yeah. Lots of people are saying, can you do more of these kind of live videos? Yeah, I can try. But, um... Yes, my pleasure. We've never done it before. I don't no. know why. 
Um, spinach on the plate. So, guys, when you see me cooking this, honestly, like this is a four-minute dish, like four or five minutes. Like I'm buggering about now because we're doing like macro shots and like you know boys are getting focused and stuff. But um, genuinely, this is like one of the quickest dishes. Um, uh, Millie Lorraine, has cooking helped with your dyslexia? Yeah, <laughs> you know, we've got, uh, you know, Catching you're up. representing Australia here, Australia. We call him the human tripod. <laughs> um, that's the dirtiest laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you ready? ready? We're going to go here, yeah? yeah. So, guys, um, the point of Quick and Easy 5 is that it's about best friends. Other plate, boys, other plate. Other plate. So, uh, it's about best friends. So, um... So when you're working with five ingredients, which theoretically will save you money, be easier for shopping, it's about bringing the most flavour out of the individual ingredients. It's about focusing on a technique, so today it was wrapping and searing and caramelising. But also, if you kind of look at the plate, you can swap out spinach at this time of year for kales or Swiss chards, but you've got lovely lentils, which you could change, like that lady said, for chickpeas or cannellini beans or bolotti beans. Um, that lovely smoky crispy fish um, and uh, the spinach, delicious meal. Um, so look, see those little spinach leaves that I graded out? They're kind of, if you have a little look, they're delicate. So what I've got is the braised bigger leaves here and then here on the board, you can't really see it, but there's like the resting juices from the, 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 uh, the pancetta and the fish. So all I'll do is put a little drip of olive oil and a little drip of vinegar and I'll dress the little baby spinach in the resting juices and it will taste simply delicious. Uh, and look, it looks a bit camp as well, which is, I'm all into that. Um, but look, it's real food, real fast. And this is the kind of food I cook for my beautiful wife regularly. I, I, is she still watching? She hasn't commented in a while, she might have. She'll be like with River. Lots of people are very worried about who gets to eat the food. Well, you're going you're gonna to see. You're going to see. Um, anyone hungry? You, no. Absolute <laughs> tumbleweed. They know, they, 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 just so you know, when I normally say that, this mob, no matter what time, look at them. Look at them all hiding behind their desks. There's Daniel Noland over there. But like, normally when I do this... It doesn't matter if it's 8 in the morning or 10 at night, they will rampage to eat. <laughs> but now we're on Instagram live. Because quite, you know, we've got quite a lot of ex-cons on the force. They don't, they don't want to be live. So, um. You right? Have you got enough to it? Can I <coughs> yeah, yeah, Millie's asked again, has cooking helped with your dyslexia? Oh yeah, sorry about the dyslexia. I don't think cooking's helped with my dyslexia, but it's helped me have confidence because I think dyslexia is just about um, re-channeling your efforts um, because uh, just because you don't fit into traditional academia or education doesn't mean that you can't flourish and be useful to the world. So um, for me, cooking absolutely... When, when I was a little bit depressed at school about being rubbish... Because um, I could cook at the weekend. Can I have a bit more light there, big bollocks? Um, um, so I've got to show what's going on. So there you go. Really nice. Braised spinach. Um, crispy um, cod. Rosemary. Rosemary is so good. Try it, guys, with fish. Um, but I don't think it's... I think cooking's just helped me... I think with dyslexia, you have to... Na it's like kind of navigating around obstacles. That's all. That's all. So I think it's potentially a gift. So... If you've got dyslexia, congratulations. But it's important that you understand that you have to navigate around. So I can't, I, I'm terrible at writing, I'm terrible at spelling, I'm actually terrible at reading. So I used to like, in, in the early days, I used to like write all my books on dictaphone. But kids watching this won't even know what dictaphone is. <laughs> but it's called the microphone on your phone. Uh, so I used to make all my books like, by talking, and that's why my books were quite chatty. Um, so here's the crew. Um, and this is my new office, by the way. So all the testing happens here. So test centre, it looks quite messy. There's a lot of testing going on today. You're right, darling. Um, this is lovely Maddie. 
these guys do all the production. Um, these guys are sort of social media, creative. Daniel Nolan does all our food safety. So every restaurant is always buying ethical, sustainable foods. Here's our studio over here. This is Barnaby, he's a graffiti artist. And he's built this because we're about to go on a Christmas giveaway. Guys, we're going to give away all sorts of prizes. And I'm dressing up. I'm dressing up. Um, are you done with me, Rich? Rich, you done with me? Okay. Um, um, yeah, let me just swivel this around. Um, uh, today's a bit of a weird day because we're doing like a kind of... Anyone that's as old as me will remember like Blankety Blank, Cracker Jack, uh, The Price is Right. So we're doing a slightly... Generation game. Generation game. So we're doing a slightly crazy Christmas giveaway where you guys are going to get to... Uh, who said Hugo? Oh, I need another... Who said Hugo? Hello. Uh, Hugo, there's people. Where, on, one of my... I've got my... Oh, I've lost it. Um, uh, yeah, so we're going to do like a kind of Christmas giveaway game show foodie thing today and my outfit is outrageous and I've got a feeling that I'm going to go mega camp and outrageous so watch this space um, let's just uh, so what do we do now I'm a bit hot to be honest um, so um, so now now we're going to go and give the food to someone lovely. Who should we give it to, Rich? Should we go and give it to Danny? Go on, you take it. Let's follow the plate. Where's Let's follow the plate. Oh, let's go and find Gennaro. I think he's downstairs. So this is Richard. There you go. Um, so these are all like PAs down here um, and all the kind of clever people, lawyers and stuff like that. This is, that, this is my... Have a look at my kitchen. So the, my staff here... They all do cooking classes, they do knife skills, so they're doing knife skills at the moment. So this is our new kitchen, Jamie Oliver HQ. Here's the team. Hello team, how's the knife skills going? So this is, this is Sean Moxon, he does all the production and he's doing knife skills. No pressure dude, don't go, don't go cutting those fingers off. Um, the one and only Gennaro Cantaldo is in the house. So this is, um, people come in the front door here. Is a lovely receptionist. Say hello. This is the Jamie Oliver HQ, and we're at Benwell House. And then when guests come here, we sort of change this around and say welcome, whoever. Oh yeah, there you are. Happy lunch. Uh, down here is like office rooms. Be brave, guys. This is one of our slogans. Be brave, because we like to get amongst it. This is the Delia Smith room. So I haven't actually shown anyone this before. So there's me and Delia, who I love, the queen of cookery. And uh, she's the best. And then we've got the post room. Proper old-fashioned. Po oh, post room's locked. Oh, there you go. Lots of security around here, so post. Actually, I'm looking for a Chris Constantino book. Because he keeps sending... Oh, maybe it's here. Um, well, Chris Constantino keeps um, oh, asking that's, me about that's a book. Right. Has it arrived? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry for that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's go and find it. Um, uh, production company's here. We haven't quite moved into here yet. At the end, there's a restaurant that we're going to do as a pop-up restaurant on the end of Holloway Road. So, yeah, all of our crew, all of our staff, there's 130 people here that all have different jobs. And they, we do, we do like this sort of, we want them all to learn to cook and stuff like that. Coffee, coffee stations. Where's Danny? Have you got the plate of food? Did you give him a plate of food? This is Danny. We're on Facebook Live. Will you tell everyone what your job is at Jamie Oliver HQ? So I'm the culture manager, which is like, uh, we take care of food in the business, making sure our staff are happy, we do staff lunches, we do volunteering programs, uh, and making sure that I spread love and sprinkle fairy dust everywhere. And you're very good at that. Thank you. So it's all the, en it's all the enrichment stuff, really, isn't yes. it? Making sure that everyone does things like this, which is knife skills or cooking classes. We do speeches and demonstrations. We get suppliers in and stuff like that. And um, this is our kind of breakout area. Uh, got a library here that needs to be sorted out. Then we've got more. That's the Rose Gray and Ruth Rogers room. Rich, can you let me into my dressing room, please? I'll show them my dressing room. So, yeah, we've named all the offices after amazing cooks. Actually, they're all women. So the Rose Gray room, who's my hero. And there's my team there. Hello. Um, don't know who they are, actually. There's lovely people. Ruth Rogers. Um... And then, um, yeah, this is, this is my dressing room. <laughs> it's still a bit rusty. This is the outfit that I've got to put on. 
Come on, you know that. So guys, you got to watch out because we're going to do this outrageous uh, Christmas foodie giveaway. We're going to be giving away turkeys and all sorts. Um, and then basically, this is my wardrobe and it's just very boring. Um, got a bathroom and a shower. Um, let me show you uh, our prop store. So big love, because we like to love. We're all about the love. And uh, oh, your card doesn't work, I'm dude. Denied as well. You're Matt. denied. Um, that's just. Uh, um, Jules, are you still watching? Um, today's nutrition from Australia. Who's from Australia? Oh, one of our cameramen. We've got loads of Aussies that work here. We've got loads of Aussies, Kiwis, um, Greeks, Portuguese, uh, dudes from India. We've got loads of people that work here from all around the world. It's lovely. It's what makes the world a beautiful, brighter place. Right, this is a bit of a shite hole, but uh, this is our storage room. Um, we still haven't finished it in here yet, but we've got 15. That's our composter. That's the future. All of our food waste just goes in there. And it's, it's a digester. It's a stomach, basically. And it has a live culture in there. And in 24 hours, it can turn 20 kilos of paper or food waste into compost, which is genius. Here are the girls. Hi, girls. Hi. We're just showing them the props. Hi. So this is lovely Sharon and Scottish. Hi. Scottish has been with me for how long? Ten years. And she's leaving me, so I'm very upset. She's moving, moving to Scotland for love. Um, so here's all of our props. And then we have this little knob here. And then it sort of shows you all the other stuff. So these are all of our props and cookware, and we use this for events and stuff like that. It's a bit, it's not, it's a bit messy. We've still got the builders in. Um, that's all the comms room and then there's going to be a walk-in fridge there but not yet because there's too much rubbish there and um, and that's it really guys let's um, spin this around a bit sorry Sharon so that's a little tour tour of our office it's working quite well we're definitely working more efficiently now although I'm not supposed to be doing this so I'm not actually supposed to have gone Facebook live I oh, know Instagram live I think it worries people because they think I'm a liability. Um, but anyway, um, it's all been very jolly. And um, let me switch it around again. Bye, Danny. See you later. What do you reckon to the new kitchen, guys? So this, I've never had a posh... I mean, I've got a legit kitchen in Barbacoa. This is a Chave. Let me show you it properly. So that's a bespoke Chave kitchen never had a nice kitchen before like a super nice one made by the French Chave so we've got pasta cookers we can blanch in here we've got these very powerful hobs and we fill them with water underneath so they, they don't need they never get caramelised burning we've got a salamander here we've got a grill here um, electric and gas ovens so that's it really right um, I'm getting loads of love okay uh, you're, uh, you are not it's fine I don't know what to say Please come um, and open one in Germany. We, actually, we are opening a restaurant in Germany very soon. Watch this space. We've got a poor connection. Oh, we're back okay. again. Um, okay, look, guys. Aaron's watching. Aaron Kraskel. Aaron Kraskel. You just said hello. See you later. Yeah. Um, you can the well, I can share the stream. How do I do that? Yeah. Oh, he's there. And I'm going to add him. Let's just go. We don't go live. If you don't know Aaron Kraskel, guys, you've got to follow him. He's a lovely boy, and he's a comedian. And yeah! Oh, who's that little baby in the background? Hello, mate. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? Good man. I hope uh, you're not driving. You're being safe. No, 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 no. no. We're, we're in a car park. Nice. Look, How are you? Who's that little baby in the background? Oh, you're in a car park. You're Easy. always in car parks. Say hi, yeah. Hello. Who's that? Do you want some crispy salmon with pancetta? <laughs> Save some uh, spinach Mate, and lentils. She wants a bottle of milk. Good man. Um, listen, um, Aaron, how's okay, your mate. day so far? What are you going to do today? You're going to cause trouble. Mate, I'm just about to go and buy a whiteboard um, with a marker pen so I can put it on my office wall to just make do some doodles on it. I don't know what I'm going to write on it. Brilliant. So listen, <laughs> for, all of my, for all of my followers watching, check out Aaron's feed. It's hilarious. He does these little... Um, uh, how do you describe what you do, Aaron? Uh, you basically go live in funny, real situations I'm, and freak everyone out. I'm an idiot with a camera. Yeah, you see? I've got a picture up of me and you on my feed. Really? 
Yeah, I've nice. Morning. Is that is that to update your grinder profile? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'll be on Thursday. Okay. Well, listen, dude. I've got to go. Love I've got to cook. Too. I love you. Take care. Love to the family. Bye. Guys, I have to go. Thanks for watching. Enjoyed it. Take care.